Come on and load. Just automatically, because I'm lazy. We completed our task. That got better with a sword. Is this what success feels like? I suppose it's working. I've learned a thing or two from battle. Uh about just some rest for now. You're good with that, but you need to get better at your main at I'm reasonable like magic. I'll think. I've done. Well worth the. No need to just. All things. Since you've taken to the bow, we'll work more on that. You're decent with a spear, so sure, let's work on that. Let's do. Annette, you need to work on your faith based magic. I'm still curious what happens if you hit beyond A+. Plus. Let's look at group tasks. Let's do some rebel work. this together sure nice to have some help pardon me professor we're all done you two worked well enough together We're going to explore a bit, but I am going to go to the marketplace. Well, sure, let's do some fishing too, why not? It bothers me that I can't buy bait. I just have to hopefully find it. Okay. Yeah, I need bait. Do you have time for a request? Sure. Bait? Yes.
Bait is generally around the pond. I wish I could buy bait though, it's annoying that you can't. You've done me a great service. Go to the greenhouse and check on my plants. No. And I hit a higher professor level. Good. So I need to go speak with the blacksmith about repairing some weapons. Hey there. Is this it? There you go. Okay. Come back anytime. Sounds nice. <gasps> There's an oh, I should invite Dimitri to come along as well. Though I don't suppose he'll want to join in. <sighs> Thank you so much. Let's have tea with Mercedes. How about a sweet Professor? apple tea? Did you call for me? Yes. Thank you so much. Ugh, too hot. Yes. About cats? Yes. You like cats, okay. Yes. A place you'd like to visit. <laughs> Um, opera? Yes. Yeah, she, I've already knew she wasn't one for fashion. I'm actually quite skilled at drawing. I wouldn't mind using you as a model. Paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> I could not resist that. I swear to God, don't so, don't send me that. Or maybe do. I don't know. Ah, oh, that was delicious. Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh. I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. I'm happy to eat alone, but all right. Okay, so you're indifferent to fish, okay. Please 
leave it to me. Cooking is my forte. At least, I think it is. I actually quite enjoy cooking. I've said this before, but I like to cook. I like to experiment with different recipes, problem, I find. sometimes things get out of control. It happens. Got it. Oh, there's some support conversations. Sylvain and Annette are both here. Oh, Sylvain's just outside, and Annette's... One's outside over here. And there he is, Sylvain. Ooh, a little hey, slowdown there. Hey, Professor. An awful lot has happened. I'm glad you're back. Uh, advanced drills. Lance. And Annette was to the south. Hmm. And there she is. Now that I think about it, maybe I wasn't... I was just so happy to see you again. And everyone else, too. Maybe I got carried away. I'm happy to see you, too. Oh, really? <laughs> Reason. Perfect. And I learned fire. This experience is critical. Before I finish exploring, let's get into support conversations. Ash and Gilbert. Okay. Excellent. Well done, Ash. Continue such work, and you will certainly make a name for yourself. You think so? Thank you, Gilbert. You really are amazing, you know. Your skills with the lance and bow are just incredible. One learns the craft of knighthood well after 40 years of service. Wow, 40 years? That's incredible. With that many years of training, I'd be really strong, wouldn't I? Further training and service will only make you stronger. Yet, why spend your life this way? Knighthood is not glamorous. On long campaigns, you sleep rough in all manner of weather, and may eat gruel more often than venison. It seems odd that you would admire me, or that you would long to be a knight. Are you sure of yourself? But of course! It's been my dream for a long time now. I really can't help but admire you. Your years of knighthood are so impressive. I do not deserve your praise. I merely performed my duties to the best of my skill. Don't be modest, you're a great knight. If there's any more you can teach me, I would be very happy to learn. Hmm. Tell me this. Once you don the armor, raise your shield and level your lance, why? What is it you wish to protect? Protect? I, um, well, whatever needs protecting, right? You must know exactly what you protect before you become a knight. I understand. I'll take that to heart. What is it that you want to protect, if I may ask? My duty has always been to protect my lord. That is a given for any knight. But for myself, doubly so. Then there are the personal reasons. Each knight has their own. Yet mine, I do not speak of. Oh. How come? Because it is personal. Mine. It allows me to focus on the work and grants me discipline. That is sufficient. Discipline, huh? Something to protect. I'll have to think of something. Interesting. Angered and Seteth. Interesting. <sighs> Is something troubling you, Ingrid? Oh, Seteth. You seem to have caught me when I thought nobody was around. Perhaps I can help, if you would like to share. I wouldn't want to bother you with my trivialities. I will not pry, of course. But if you keep it to yourself, no one will be able to help you. That's true. It's regarding my father. Count Galatea. I have met him once or twice. Well, you have likely heard that House Galatea's financial situation is precarious. Many regions of Fargus are harsh and infertile, but our lands are especially so. There were several years of fruitless harvest. 
It nearly ruined us. We could barely feed our troops. Then I was born bearing a crest, after generations bore none. Suddenly my family hung its future on me. My father had hopes that with my crest, I'd be married into a noble family, and that House Galatea's financial troubles would be a thing of the past. Ah, I see. And the other house would benefit from the addition of your crest-bearing blood. It seems to me you have suffered much for the misfortune of being born with a crest. I beg your pardon? I know crests are highly valued, but they are also a burden. My feelings are mixed. You truly think so? But you're so devoted to the goddess. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. Perhaps one day I will expound upon my opinion of crests in greater detail with you. For now, let it suffice to say that whether or not you bear one is secondary to your identity. You are a person, first and foremost. And you should be permitted to grow as a person, crest or not. I agree. Thank you for listening. If you ever wish to discuss this again, consider me available whenever you please. Thank you so much. I could see Setith being a mentor to Ingrid. I don't really see a romantic relationship between them. But who knows? Maybe that's just personal. People will ship anyone together. Gilbert's birthday. I'll send you some flowers. You have my gratitude. Time for a mission. But first a cutscene. You're wrong. Dimitri. It's not like that, Glenn. I swear it. Any love I once had for my stepsister has been tossed aside. Oh, he speaks with the dead, and he's... That's depressing. That's really fucking depressing. Like... Wow! He... Jesus, I feel sorry for you, Dimitri. I am worried about you. Only hatred remains. If I could tear that woman to shreds right this very moment, I would. I don't care if she's the Emperor. It's no different than killing anyone else. So I beg you, all of you, do not worry about my resolve. Please, Father, and you too, Stepmother, do not gaze at me with that look in your eyes. I will bring her head soon, and when I do, you may finally rest in peace. I know it. Yes, I know it. Snap out of it, Dimitri. They're not there. What do you want? I came to check on you. Everyone is worried about you. I see. We you need some sleep. At once. I must kill her as soon as possible. Dimitri, get some sleep, man. We must first prepare. We have no time to leisurely set up camp. If I must, I will go by myself. Not leisurely, but we need weapons, supplies, arrows. We, we need equipment and supplies. Pardon the interruption. We must prepare a counterattack at once. The Imperial Army has caught wind of our position. It would seem they were patrolling this place after all. The Imperial Army, is it? Well, well. <laughs> Your Highness, I ask that you please refrain from reckless behavior in battle. It would seem the report that the Knights of Syros have returned was accurate. Randolph, you're this still is going alive. To take some effort. Brother, I heard a rumor that there is a vicious murderer among our enemies. Well, who knows if there's any truth to it? Though I admit we have lost some soldiers recently. Whether he's among them or not, taking on the Knights of Syros is extremely dangerous. You're not ready for the front lines, Flesh. Stay in the back and support us from there. Understood? No! I want to stay with you. I have to... I need you to understand, Flesh. I will come back, I promise. Fine. I trust you, brother. Please, be safe. He's not coming back. All units, prepare to attack!
Let's be very real with ourselves. He ain't coming back. Protecting Garag Mach. Let's do it! At the monastery at Garag Mach, the Kingdom Army proceeds to bolster its forces, but the Empire is already one step ahead. An Imperial Vanguard, led by General Randolph, has deduced the location of the Kingdom Army and now advances with the aim of toppling Garag Mach for a second time. Linked attacks. Yeah, I kind of figured out how those work. It doesn't really work. I like the old parent mechanic a little more. It made shallowing people around a little easier. For example, you could put a heavy armor knight on with a flyer or rider and they could get them into position. I liked using my flyers as shuttles in Awakening and Fates. Knights of Seros are a powerful enemy, but we have more soldiers. We'll take them down all at once. There are more enemies than expected. Attacking with fire would prove most useful here. Report. The enemy has entered the... If they reach the... Okay, so little confession here. This is the second attempt I'm doing this because it's hard. This then is actually pretty hard. What's the plan? Now, if you hold the position, and I'm going to move these in. It's over. It won't be in vain. I'll cut through. Pointless. You thought well. There's a lot of enemies here. Let's go. Orders. Let's draw them in. There's no time limit. But I'm gonna have to move them in. Oh, they're coming in. That's what you get. Our do I'd be honored. <laughs> it's my duty. At your service. Yeah, thank you. I'll comply. Uh -oh. 
see you in the eternal flames. Onward. Ready when you are. You're in my way! I've gotten stronger. I'm your girl. All is going to plan. One to remember. Steal myself. Ooh, they almost got in. That's just cheeky. What you're going to do is drive the riders back. You were unprepared. Thanks so much. This is All talk and no action. Just out of my own fear, I need to have a guard posted. I remember that I have that gambit attack. Her enemies are my enemies. It was the only way. I often forget I have the gambit. I fight for Lady Rhea. Ah! 
I must lead them well. Let them come. These ones here are mean. They have this... They have a... Well, they have a battalion. They're not getting through. Let's start moving them all forward. I'm gonna keep them back there for good measure. Sylvain, you're gonna go help them hold it. I'll destroy you! Too weak for this world. All talk. And you are not messing around. You haven't earned my pity. Strength never betrays. One to remember. Enemies are my enemies. Yeah! I'm not a kid anymore. I've gotten stronger. Die here. You're not. Thank you. I've driven them back. Keep moving forward. Pull them in. Fire attack is ready. Now, to draw the enemy's attention. So many units, and you still... Quiet! Attack! Make sure they never speak again! That's it. Come on in, buddy. Now! Fire! Ugh. All units retreat! Chase them down! Y'all aren't getting away. I'm still here. Let's go. Oh, I can use the Levin Sword. Nice. 
Not good. Let's go back to this turn here. Because I want to make sure I'm out of the foot. This guy's What's focus. My strategy? I'm going to have to draw him in. Because he's got a really, really mean attack. your service my orders ready when you are what's the plan a child's plan <laughs> not enough always something I can just move you right out of the way. That's interesting. I'd be honored. It was the only way. Just a scratch. Actually, that'll help. That helps. Let's go. Her enemies are my enemies. Used to be a good distraction and wait. Two coming. A total loss. But we can't just return home like this. Professor, get down! Defeat enemy commander. I am so Damn it. For my house, for justice, I will not be defeated. No. This can't end. You were saying Capture him. A terrible battle. Yet Garrick Mock still stands. Your Highness? That was tricky. Not gonna lie, that was a tricky one. That was tough, and again, that's awkward being the whole situation with Edelgard right now. I have family waiting for me. Please, I can't die here. A beast of your depravity prattling on about family? How amusing. As though you could understand. Such a thing as love? You heartless monster! You are a monster too, General. You have just yet to realize it. A monster who thinks he's a man. Despicable. As a general, you must have killed countless souls without a shred of mercy. Do you still remember the sound of them begging, just as you're begging now? Or now that your life is at its end, will you hold to the lie that your hands are not stained red with blood? This... this is war. I did what I had to for the Empire, for the people, for my family. <laughs> So, you are piling up corpses for the people and your family. And I am doing the same for the salvation of the dead. 
After all is said and done, we are both murderers. Both stained. Both monsters. You're wrong. Am I? I can smell the rotting flesh upon your hands even now, General. Enough! That's enough! I won't kill you right away, my fellow monster. Unless you object to watching your friends die. One by one. Christ on the cross, Dimitri! Just put him out of his misery! If so, I will do you the service of removing your eyes first, so that... That's enough! Please! Please! Forgive me! What is the meaning of this? I miss the Dimitri I once knew. The one that wouldn't torture the innocent. The Dimitri you once knew is dead. All that remains is the repulsive, blood-stained monster you see before you. If you do not approve of what I have become, then kill me. If you insist that you cannot, then I will continue to use you and your friends until the flesh falls from your bones. We managed to repel the Imperial Army, but we remain divided on our next course of action. I anticipate a second and third wave of attack. With our current forces, we'll have our hands full just defending. It's a miracle we managed to repel the Imperial Army with the few units and resources we do have. We should probably contact Rodrigue right away to request backup. Rodrigue is in a difficult position, as he has suffered invasions by the dukedom. But there are troops who share in our cause, gathering in the heart of Fraldarius territory. If we can arrange for them to join us, our forces will grow considerably. Fraldarius. So, Rodrigue is still alive, is he? We met him five years ago. So you did. I wonder what my old man will say when he sees you now. That spectacle alone will be worth the trip. <laughs> I've already sent word with our fastest messenger, informing Rodrigue that his highness is alive. But we would do well to send another, in case anything happens to the first. With the current state of things, we'll be completely helpless without his support. Your highness, may I ask what your next plan of attack is? Should we dispatch our troops to the Kingdom Capital, or to the Imperial Capital? We will take the Imperial capital. There, I will kill her. We end the war and chase away the lingering regrets of the dead. Nothing could be more to the point. Uh, that may be true, but don't forget that your people need our help right now. Your Highness, I hate them too. But the citizens of Ferdiad have long awaited your return. Just give it up already. Wasting time thinking about stuff like that will only dull your blade. Defeating Edelgard would put an end to the war. That would benefit the kingdom as well. We still need to look for Lady Rhea. So I agree that we should get to Enbar as fast as possible. Professor, whatever you decide, we shall follow. Hmm. That's... That's a hard decision. And I don't, I don't even know what the consequences of this are. Let's take back Ferdiad. We won't stand a chance in taking the capital without support. You were entrusted with leading the church. One would think the logical step is to march to Enbar. If Lady Rhea is being held prisoner in the Empire, we don't have time to waste taking back Ferdiad. Can you deny it? No. Either way, we are in need of numbers. It is essential that we secure backup. That's kind of my point for choosing Ferdiad. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I... 
I guess take Ferdian. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.